Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires campaign. Sorry, my lord screaming at me there about battle positions threw me off. I was like, did you forget what game we were Nope, playing? I didn't forget what game we were. I just was like, battle positions? All right, let's go. I'm ready for war. Um, But yes, we are back and I have Carl Franz. He's on a bird no. now, which is fantastic. He's got some really beat up halberds. My poor boy. Um, and I believe... Did we not have Valmir in circle? I thought he did. Did he Target not? This is what we he should have. All right. Well, he there is encircling are. now. Yeah, that, we're fine. Okay, he was. I just he didn't look like it because he, he's standing on my screen, actually somewhat far away. The Emperor's teleport thing may have done weird things. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. All right. What do I actually have left to do? Oh yes, rocks. You are going. Let me check his stats real quick because I believe. You believe what? He's got construction time minus 25% for all buildings, income from ports, income from ports, movement range, income from local buildings. Okay, so I'm going to actually, I am going to have him go into Marienburg because Marienburg. Yeah, watch and, and pay attention to what your income does when you move him. Okay, so I'm at 6305 right now. Okay. On March. And now we're at 6529. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. So he's going to sit there. Um, he will go ahead and recruit nothing, actually, because he doesn't need it. Ooh, do we do we want to give him, since he seems to be getting all of the state's troops, the Emperor's Wrath steam tank? No. Okay. He That'd doesn't need it, and that's a lot of money per turn to waste on a joke. That is very, very true. All right, then we're just going to like go if ahead. I, if I was going to put that into an army, that would be going into the Karl Franzes. It should, yes, it should go. And, and here is something I would consider doing with Franz. Yeah. Merging the two Empire Knight units and mm. getting the steam tank. Okay. All right. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Hey, Golden Order. Do you want to... Oh, I can't confederate stuff. you until you want to confederate, can Correct. I? Correct. He has to be at 10. He is at 9. He's getting close. You could spend influence to try and up it. You know what? That is a fantastic idea. Let's do that. Hello, my friend. Here's 80 influence. Please love me more. <gasps> he it now costs me a hundred influence to affect him. Yeah, so don't bother with that anymore. But that no, I think more kill. positive diplomacy also helps. I can't do anything else with him other than you yeah. know what? Let's give him some money, I guess. No, no, no. Just, just that's good. We're good. All right, cool. Then pass him the turn. That's all you needed to do. I, I think anything else would be unnecessary. That's fair. All right, now then, Skitter Cheeks, you are looking wonderful. Ickit Claw, you are looking wonderful. And there's a city. Yeah? Yes. Does it does it have Clan Scryer written across it? It does, oddly Oh my enough. god, that's amazing. It is. It's also called Montfort. Oh, yes. that's an odd name for it a Clan Scryer, like a Scryer. Uh... Also, wouldn't it be great to be neighbors? Yeah, it would, actually. All right. Oh, that Montfort, yes. Goodbye, friends. Who I'm not actually been friends with. Yeah, I did not call you to that war. <laughs> All right, for the sake of our sanity, auto resolve. All right, auto resolve. All right, what do we lose? Like n the slave army took damage. Yep, as they do. Mm. Taking it at tier two. Cool. Bam. All right, a few more enemy heroes are dead. Dead. Yes. Excellent. Um, dead, dead. Casualty, scave, and corruption. No, we don't want the corruption. Thank you. I'd rather have untainted around here. Also, we're neighbors. We're neighbors. Yay. Yay. Helmgrat is now forever protected under Yay. the watchful I mean, eye be, of Ticket Claw. To be fair, as soon as you got rid of those orcs, like it, it's been fine since. Well, shush. but I am very glad that we can now more easily trade because it's literally I step out of this fort, I walk over to Montfort, and I go, "Hello, here, friend. Here's sugar." Thank you. And then Thank you. I... Um, Say good, good neighbor. Good neighbor. Exactly. Um, I heard you liked to bake. <laughs> yes. I thought you might need some of this. We have very fine quality sugar here in the uh, in the Empire. All right, Pustin. You need to head this way. We need to talk to these dwarves. We need to cancel... Not that one yet. We're in the underway. Let's hold off. Yes, three bloody armies. Why Gross. is it three armies? Um... It's okay. 
it's actually coming to my attention. Yeah. I need to recruit a new army. <gasps> is it time? It is. I'm getting too spread out. Got it. So down here at good old Margarita, we shall recruit a lord. <gasps> a lord? Yes. My goodness. Spells of Ruin. Oh, we do have both Scalpos, but we also have Warlock Masters. Because they're not, like, different levels elsewhere, right? Mm, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, the Warlock Masters are the same. So, where do I want to build it? I think we're just going to do it in Skaven Blight, because then I can redeploy him anywhere else. Nice. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes total sense. All right. Take strategist, get him in, go to details, and go, would you like a breeder? Because I have a million of those. I have a man-thing slave, a million of those, too. Uh, you're gonna have you, a do have, you do have a lot. That's that's actually all I'm really trading to you is, is, is what just it comes down me. to. I'm, just, I'm trading you people. Oh, God. That's what's happening. It's terrifying now. All right. Listen, Carl Franz has taken a dark turn in his life, yeah, yeah, all right? He's allied with Skaven. I think it's driven him a little mad. You know, I can tell. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're going to save the flamethrowers because I'm terrible with them. And we're going to start recruiting the expensive stuff first. Actually, we'll do the expensive stuff last because then I'm not spending extra turns paying for its uh, upkeep. Sounds Look great. Look at me using my big brain brain. My goodness. Yes. All right, because we are a little bit more frontline heavy, we will get six of those. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you continue to get stabby. Stabby. Stabby, stabby. Um, okay, can I... So I'm heading up to Wisemond. Okay. To uh, deal with some things. That sounds excellent. So first things, there's this hero up here. Oh. He's, by the way, dead. <gasps> excellent. Yep, critically. Excellent. Ooh, critically dead. Beautiful. Yes, all right. Why? Okay, I can't do that. That's fine. We could block him. All right, what I'm going to do, because I can see he has an army up here that's in march stance. Okay. I'm going for a 55% block. Okay. I got it. Nice. Now that army is not coming down to help. I see that. So what I might do then? Mm. I would send Carl back to. I am. I'm going to. Aldorf. I'm going to. I can. I can sort of screw with him. Okay. Like, don't worry too much. Who do you think I should get rid of? Because I want to. Because I have. I can get Huntsman now from Aldorf. So yeah. I'm thinking of like actually getting rid of. Is it time? Maybe the handgunners. Honestly, no. The archers. The archers. Yeah. Just the two archers, or should I get rid of the crossbowmen too? Debatable. But uh, the, the thing is, the crossbows don't have armor piercing anymore, so really all three of them, yeah. Okay. Like that's, that's what I'm going to do that's then. That's what I would say. All right, so they have done their dealio. We are recruiting. Um, all of our lords that are available have moved. Castle Carcassonne's looking good. Sort of holding off on my bell upgrades. What upgrades? Bell upgrades. Oh, bell upgrades. Nice. It's like a, uh, the building and yeah, it's a public order building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tilia, you are looking okay. I don't think anything's going to kill us immediately. Meanwhile, continue to get growth going over here. What is worth building over here? Just more money? Because I don't think we need recruitment in the mountains. No. Here, we're just going to start garrisoning it up to okay. sort of hold that mountain pass. I think that sounds good. Uh, Ekatkla has leveled up again. Oh, nice. What yes. level is he at? 20. Okay. You're four levels above me. Yes. I think you've had more battles than I have. Though. Probably. I, I He's actually going to start boosting. Eh, actually, boosting his front line is really not worth it. You know, what it, are the other options? Oh, he just there's just nothing to boost survivability for them. I see. Like there's leadership and melee attack, but that's pretty much it. I mean, leadership since, I mean, your guys aren't gonna have armor, and their biggest weakness is leadership, so that's probably their alternative 
to boost. That's true. We just survive with health, right? Yeah, you survive with health and just not, like, and being able to recover your leadership well. Mm hmm. Uh, is this the one that's in here? Yes, it is. So, more melee attack for you. Sorry, I have a whole bunch of leveling. No worries. You've got a lot of characters. God, yes, I do. I do have, um, I can finally get my, my, uh, what are they called? Well, the warrior priests? Yes. So I'm going to, I'm going to also priests have Sigmar. Carl Franz get one of those. Oh, yeah. Because the thing about the warrior priests, well, the warrior priests really combo best with your, um, cavalry armies. Well, I do want Carl Franz to get Reichsguard Knights back. Okay. But, like, you want to have many units with him. Like two or three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Just I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna eventually get rid of the Empire Knights, <gasps> and we're gonna replace them with Reichsguard Knights. The only okay. reason the Empire Knights are in there is because I didn't. Well, have... I thought you said you were combining them, and then you were gonna switch out a tank. I'm I'm combining the knights. I'm dropping three archer units, um, and then I will be eventually like the plan is is to put some Ooh, you want to trade do you border princes i am not killing them for at least a little while okay well then we shall do this but i want a wee bit of money a wee bit of money a you wee say. bit of money please oh. you've accepted excellent thank you for your wee bit of money karak ziflin what are they doing karak oh. ziflin nothing okay it paused briefly on them. well lots of war just went you. off yeah, you got declared war on. And... No, I didn't. Really? I thought I saw a clan scryer thing. No. No, oh, weird. No, no, it looks like elves just went nuts. My goodness. All right, what are you up to? I am looking at, I'm going to upgrade Altdorf to a tier five city. Oh. That's what we're doing. Um. All right. Carl Franz. By the comet. Please step over into Aldor. I your, mean, fly because into your you're fancy, majestic. Into your fancy tier, tier nine city. What? It's not tier nine. Whatever you said it was. It's tier. It's getting to tier five. Okay, that. All right, so we're gonna get rid of you guys. Just disband you. Go away. We no one really? likes you anyways. True. Um, we're going to then combine these knights so, to have one knight unit. So here's what I'm looking at. Yeah. I don't. <sighs> You add a tank and two, yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more halberdier. Yep. Okay, we're going to put um, two, I don't think I'm gonna put the tank in him yet. Okay. I'm gonna put two huntsmen, uh, which I can't afford. I can only get one right now because I just, I'm, I'm upgrading all doors, so I spent a lot of money Yeah, I was gonna that. say tier but, five so we're gonna is like 7,000 That's, that's okay, that's something. okay. So we're gonna get um, the halberdier and one huntsman for right now. We'll get another huntsman next turn, and then we will also get our um, our uh, warrior priest as well, and he'll be in there. And that'll be Karl Franz's army for the time being. Yep. Um, Take them out. He is still sieging, so we're just gonna leave Valmir to do that. Um, yeah, that other guy is totally surrounded by your guys, so I think we're safe there. And Rox is just gonna hang out, I think, actually, because we don't really have money to spend right now, and there's no one over here. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on what Bertonia is doing. Yep. So that's my turn. I'm passing it back to you. Oh, well, thank you so very much. You're welcome. Let us see what is going on. Oh, Aegit Claw is healed. Good. Which is, you know, a good sign. Let's get over here and sort of see what's happening. Oh no, they don't even have an army. No! Ekit Claw? Please wipe out this civilization. Yay! Yep. We're just going to auto resolve it. Kay. I'm not even using the other army to help. Nice. Bam. Nice. And we're Beautifully that, done. Another city is ours. Oh, oh! First, that was really weird for a second. What happened? I was still on rocks when we came out of that battle because he was the last person I was on before I, I think, changed the turn over to you. I see. So it showed him underneath the screen of uh, the defeat, and I was like, "Huh? They weird. They had an exact same army composition that I had." Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid not. And I was like, they, "How dare they copy me? I know I'm the emperor, but geez, have some like originality, oh, guys." Oh God, yeah. Like, Jeez. how dare they? Huh. All right, that's another Bretonian like empire removed. Nice, nice. 
So basically, I now need to wrap up this group at Bordalo. And okay. that that remo leaves only two Bretonians left, and one of them's Leon. Yeah. And honestly, I'm fine to leave him alone for the time being. You because... are. What? You are. Oh, that's that's fair. I just... Listen, he's fighting chaos up north. I oh, would yeah. Like, like I, to... I get that. He's still It's still my, my territory, though, bro. That's fair. Now let's start getting the growth fats. Ooh. I mean, they had to happen eventually. I mean, is that just your growth building? No. Oh. Oh, no. What is it? <laughs> so, all right, over here. What are we building? We have food generation is going well. We don't need any of that. That's just more money, so we'll take it. Um, is there anything else worth taking in Magliano? Not really. You are sort of just a defense capital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll hold off there. So let's keep in mind we do have an army that does need to do more recruiting. Okay. Pusta Stitch comes over yonder. And what do we have for range units? Just Skaven Slingers, huh? All right, in that case, what we'll do is start working on those. Very good. Oh, wait. I need to save some of that money. Why? Uh, so my assassins can do things. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any money? Uh, I have 282. So oh. I, you can, you are welcome to it if you... No, 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 no. I need more than that. But unfortunately, I, I, I was pretty efficient again with Okay, my... that's fine. I'm just going to cancel the growth vats for the time being. Okay. And we'll take care of it next turn. That was just more of a, I'm building for something in the future. Got it. It's a late tier thing. I'm concerned. Why are you concerned? I don't know. We're allies, so you really shouldn't be able to, like, like, I shouldn't be concerned, but I am concerned. <laughs> All right, now, right now, assassinations are not looking promising because I just killed someone. Right. So now my, like, hero success chance is, like, way up. Right. Um, you mean way down? Well, yeah, yeah, like sorry. The, the, the hero failure. I'm going to still go for the block. Okay. It's still a success. He still can't leave. Okay, cool. And he's stuck in March, right? He, I don't know if he's stuck in March, but he can't move more than, like, a few inches. Okay. I'm going to see if I can... If... He's not fully healed. Hmm. Well, I was debating seeing if I could, like, pop Carl Franz up there. No, If no, he's no. in March and, like, grab him, but no, he's No, no, no. I'm just going to keep... I'm gonna just going to keep trying to, like, harass them down here. Okay. And it will be fine. He has... Flag... Flagellants? Yeah, like he huh, likes to I don't hurt think himself. I've ever, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that unit. Like, I know they exist. I know they are a thing in the game. I just don't think I've ever actually seen an army with it in there. I see. All right, we have an army stealthily moving up on the Dwarvy Dwarves. The Dwarvy Dwarves? Yes, now we need to save our money now because we have to wait for... We have to wait to gr build the growth vats. Who his boss is. You know. Nice, yes. All right, income is looking good. Triangulation's looking good. This is definitely the one in the army. So more for death frenzy, I think, yes. Meanwhile, good old Ikit Kla, yes. Negative yes. three upkeep ain't bad, but let's see, we're gonna keep pushing into his melee stuff. I like how the jetpack is is something he can get, even though he's riding a doom wheel. Wait, what? He can get a jetpack and a, can he it's ride his It's just a speed buff. Wheel? It's a massive speed buff is what it oh, is. Oh, you know, much in the same way that I feel like orc logic sometimes doesn't make sense. And by that, I mean always. Are you trying to imply Skaven, Skaven logic doesn't Skaven, make sense? Skaven logic sometimes also doesn't make sense. Oh my god, how dare you? I know. I. It's a bold claim. It is. And on that bold, bald? Bald, bald and bold. That bold, bald claim, <laughs> we're going to end this episode. If you all have enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Next week, Ikit Claw is going to get aggressive, and we're going to see how it works out. Yeah, I think we're going to really start punching uh, Middenland as well next Mid week. Yeah, Middenland, I'm a little paranoid about pirates. 
Mm, okay, that's fair. But I mean, the I'm good trying thing is, to be... is I have a lot of regiments of renown that I think are just sort of sitting around waiting. That's that's fair. So worst case, I can recruit like almost a half stack in one turn. That's good. I am thinking of possibly getting a fourth army. I would at the scale you're at now. Yeah. What's your I've, income? Um, it's back up to seventy two. Yeah, um, I would say try to keep your income above five, but yeah. Yeah, I well, I'm gonna, it's going to be slow. Like, I'm not going to build the army up super fast, but basically my plan is, I think, and I know we're wrapping the episode. That's fine. Um, I just want to get this out real quick. My plan is going to, you know, Karl Franz will heal up. He'll get his his last two units. He'll then move into Middleland, and he and Valmir will take them out. Yep. Rox will hang out in Marienburg, buffing the income there. And then I'll get basically a fourth guy in Altdorf recruiting, and we'll just build him up over time, and then he can help. Probably with the chaos and or vampires or whatever comes next vampires, first. Vampires are coming. They have been spreading slowly. I think they've only gained one city in the last two or three episodes, but they are on the border with the Golden Order. Yeah, I do see that. And, the ho and I'm still working on them. I'm hoping that they're going to... Here's the thing. If my army that's approaching the orcs and the dwarves can clear them out, mm -hmm. assuming the wood elves don't decide to get wood elfy, mm -hmm. um, I should be able to come up there and help you with the Golden Order area. Cool. Well, the Golden Order area, at least, I'm going to be trying to confederate them. So we can move whatever this new army that I recruit and they can start heading that direction, I guess, is what I might do. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode or this week of episodes. I have been Angela. And, and I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.